Okay, what's going on fellow traders? So today we're going off the charts and uh, we're going into just more of a teaching session. Okay, uh, because I've seen a lot of uh, new traders, okay, a lot of uh, emails coming in about this kind of mistakes that a lot of new beginner traders are making. And uh, I want to help you reduce these mistakes. I want to help you reduce your losses. Okay, so today I want to point out uh, the top five mistakes that uh, you might or might not be making. Okay, if you're not making them, uh, good job. Okay, but if you see yourself making these mistakes, uh, then make sure you take the uh, appropriate action, right? You change your perspective and uh, you make the uh, changes. Okay, so let's go into it. Okay, so these five mistakes, right? I'll just briefly run through each of it and then after that, I'll go uh, in depth and talk more about uh, these mistakes, uh, why you're making them, and so, you know, uh, some of the changes in your thinking uh, that you need to do. Okay, so the five mistakes that I see a lot of new traders make is that, you know, they have the wrong expectations, okay? Uh, and because they have the wrong expectation, they tend to overtrade, right? They have this, uh, you know, $1,000 trading account or some of them even just, you know, like a $500 trading account and uh, they are trying to make a million in uh, two months, right? It's just not realistic, okay? Uh, a lot of you also just focus on indicators, okay? Uh, rather than price action. Okay, I talk about this quite uh, extensively in uh, some of my other videos about how uh, you should be focusing on the indicators last. Okay, not the first thing. Okay, a lot of you are so micromanaging trades. Uh, you, don't, you don't give time for the trade to move, right? Before the trade has you know, enough time to show whether it's a winner or loser, you conclude uh, that the trade's a loser already. Okay, and lastly, uh, a lot of you focus on winning rate, right? You guys say, oh, you know, this, this signal provider has a 90% hit, hit rate. You only have about 60%. You're not too good, right? Uh, these are the kind of questions that we get. So I uh, just want to share with you uh, my perspective on all these kind of, you know, uh, questions that people send and also point out the mistakes uh, that uh, you guys might or might not be making, okay? So let's go into the first one. Okay, now mistake number one involves having the wrong expectations. Okay, so let's face it. Okay, most of you come into trading uh, because you want to make a ton of money. Okay, most of you come in like that. None of you, or maybe let's say just probably 1% of you come into trading because you know, you're passionate about trading. You love trading. Okay, uh, in fact, uh, I myself, I was like that also. Okay, so it's totally fine. It's fine to uh, want to come in to trading to make a ton of money. Right? I mean, there's a lot of marketing uh, gimmicks out there which tell you that uh, you can change your life with trading. And yes, that's possible, but it's not going to happen in the way you think it's going to happen. Right? It's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to take a lot of uh, experience and it's going to take a lot of time. Okay, so it is okay if you have this kind of mind, uh, mindset or expectation right now, right? Like you want to make $1 million with a $1,000 account, it's fine, okay? But it's not okay if you stay like that, okay? If you stay, keep thinking this manner, you keep thinking that, uh, you know, you're going to quit your job next month, you're going to, uh, you're going to travel the world and make a million dollars uh, just because you attend this course or just because, uh, you know, you follow our signals, okay? That's not the right expectation. Okay, so you have to move out of uh, that uh, expectation of yours. Okay, it's, again, I repeat, it's okay to start off with the wrong expectation, but please do not uh, remain that way. Okay, so I've seen a lot of new traders, uh, especially some of the haters. I mean, it's just bound to happen, right? Haters who uh, come and go, right? They come and go because, uh, you know, they have the expectation that uh, our trading signals must be 100%, right? We have angry emails writing in say, oh, why, why are your signals not 100%, right? Right. And these are the kind of traders who, because, uh, you know, they don't adjust their expectation. Uh, they, don't, they don't change their mindset. They don't change their thinking. And that's why uh, they get very disappointed, very frustrated that, you know, uh, they are losing money. Okay? Losing money is just part of, uh, you know, the game, right? You win some, you lose some. Okay? So these are the kind of traders who quit. Okay? So uh, if you are, you know, in your first month of trading, okay, please uh, learn to adjust your expectation. If not, you're not going to last uh, two, three months, okay? So you don't want to set yourself up for failure, okay? If you have the wrong expectation, you're going to set yourself up for failure, okay? So let me tell you uh, a story, okay? Or rather, let me give you an example, okay? If you yourself uh, expect to lose money for the first year, okay? Versus if you expect to make money from day one, how would you approach trading, right? Chances are, if you expect to lose money for the first year, uh, you're not going to trade big, you might even trade a demo account, right? And if you, you know, you incur some losses, you're going to say, hey, that's no big deal. Uh, that's just a tuition, right? Uh, it's, it's no big deal. 
Okay. However, if you expect to make money from day one, then uh, the moment you have a loss, which you will have, right? Let's say in your fifth day of trading, sixth day of trading, you have losses. You're gonna say no, 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 no. That why is everyone making so much money and I'm losing money, right? So uh, you're gonna give up. You're gonna be frustrated, right? So the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, the outcome is the same, right? In both cases, you lose money. But in the first case, because you have the right perspective, right? You do not give up because you know it's normal. But if you, you have the expectation of, you know, making money since day one over here, then, um, you know, it's, you're going to give up, you're going to get frustrated and you're just not going to push through. Okay. So another thing to note is, so uh, trading is a zero sum game. Okay. Let's talk about uh, pro probably an example. Okay, not uh, related to trading. And then after that, I'll relate it back to trading. Let's say you are, you are, you are at a, a racing game and you have to bet, uh, you know, you have to bet money on a, a race driver. You have a professional race driver who's been doing it for five years, 10 years, right? He's a professional. And you have a new driver who just wants to try, uh, uh, you know, his, his debut, right? He's just started his professional career. This is his first race. Okay, so let's be logical here. Who would you bet on, right? Would you bet on the professional race driver or would you bet on the new driver? Chances are you would bet on the professional race driver, okay? It's a no-brainer. It's a dumb question that I'm asking, okay? But why is it when it comes to trading, most of you, right, most of these new traders, right, you don't have any experience and you are up against all these professional traders who have, you know, sophisticated, sophisticated trading software, they're expert, they have years of experience, they are backed by uh, institutional capital, and you expect to win money from them, right? As I said, trading is a zero-sum game, right? For you to win money, someone else must lose money, and only the best make money in this industry, right? So why do you have the expectation that from day one, you're going to be profitable? It, it just doesn't make sense, right? It just seems like when people come into trading, they lose their logical side, you know, of their thinking. They don't think things through, right? So trading is really like uh, this, you know, betting on a professional, you know, race at a race course, right? It's only the one who is the most, you know, experienced who has the uh, resources that have the edge in the market in, in trading. So that's something that uh, you want to bear in mind and uh, you do not want to have the wrong mindset. So, uh, so that's one thing to know, okay? That's why you need to change your mindset, okay? You don't want to just, uh, just think that you have an edge in the market when you just start out trading. It's just not realistic, okay? So I hope I drive home this point. Okay, it's mistake number two uh, is over trading, okay? Now, over trading is actually why most traders blow their account. You can see over here, uh, chances are if... You are trading for some time, you probably have blown account, you know the feeling sucks, right? Okay, but unfortunately, that's just uh, the path uh, to success, right? You're going to blow your accounts. I personally blown a lot of accounts uh, in my journey. So uh, don't, you know, don't be ashamed of it, right? It's just part of the journey. Just make sure that uh, you do not uh, trade too big, that you control the losses, right? Now, if you think about it, uh, over trading, uh, the root cause of it is really having the wrong expectations, right? As I talk about over here, okay, you have the wrong expectation. And that's why you overtrade, right? Think about it this way. Uh, if you expect the trade to go very well, you expect that uh, trade must go in your direction, right? It is logical, right? It's even compelling to want to trade bigger, right? Or you want to go, you know, all in into uh, your trades, right? Because you know, sort of know, right? With a, you know, a, a, a philosophy, right? You know, you kind of know that the market will go your direction. Right, that's why you want to trade big. But here's the thing, right? If you kind of know, then uh, you are having the wrong expectation already, right? Because trading is not about certainty. We can never predict uh, with hundred percent certainty where the market is going. Okay, in fact, the best traders are only right fifty percent of the time. Right, means uh, they are only right fifty percent of the time. They make their money because uh, when they are right, uh, they make more money. Right, then when they are wrong, they cut their losses. That's why they are able to uh, generate a positive. Uh, return on their investment, right? So trading is about probability, not certainty. So if you can consider that uh, you might be wrong, uh, that uh, you know, your trade might end up in 
as a loser, right, you'll be less compelled to overtrade. Okay, in fact, you'll be super obsessed with a risk management because you know that you could be wrong. Okay, you do not need to get it right. Okay, in fact, I think this is also very liberating for you because if you know that uh, you know, uh, the best traders only get it right fifty percent of the time, and you don't have to get it right every single time. Right, I think it's really very liberating. You you know that you don't need to be perfect uh, in order to make money. Right, I remember when I was uh, still a struggling trader. Uh, whenever I make a mistake in trading, I would beat myself up uh, very badly. Right, mentally I would say, "Why am I such a terrible trader? Why can't I just stick to the rules?" Etc. Etc. Right. Uh, I my idea of you know being profitable means that I need to be flawless in my execution. I need to be perfect. Right, but you know, as I studied uh, other traders and you know, through my own journey right now, you can see that uh, we still do make mistakes, right? We still uh, some, some, sometimes we even send out the signals, uh, you know, uh, and we accidentally uh, do a typo, right? Uh, we make mistakes, but that's part of being human, okay? It's fine, it's fine, okay? It's fine to uh, make mistakes, okay? But what is not fine is that if you have the wrong expectation and uh, you overtrade without a stop loss, okay? That's not fine. So make sure you don't do that. Okay, make sure you don't uh, overtrade. Now let's talk about mistake three. Okay, a lot of traders like to focus on indicators uh, rather than price action. Okay, because you know indicators gives you some form of certainty that the market is going down. Uh, if things don't work out, you blame the indicators rather than blame your own judgment. Right? I think that's very normal. I still remember when um. When I first started trading, I was trying to find the holy grail, right? What's the holy grail? Uh, you can see over here. Uh, let me just see if I can draw it so that uh, you can follow. Right. Um, sorry, let me just, okay. Here. Uh, okay, no, it's not working. Okay, right. This is the holy grail I thought it was, right? I thought this was the holy grail. You find a perfect set of indicators, you match them together, and uh, you know, if as long as you can find the right combination of indicators, then uh, you're gonna be profitable, right? Uh, that was my thinking too. So if that's your thinking currently, that's where you are at right now, uh, you wanna pay attention to this portion, okay? Because that's not the way to unlock the holy grail. Okay, so now trading is really about identifying the trade context. Okay, uh, and whether you choose to use indicator or not, that's up to you. Okay, so what do I mean by trading context? Uh, would be stuff like this over here. Okay, you want to pay attention to like the trend, uh, news event, the key support and resistance level. These are the trade context, right? Is euro dollar in an uptrend, right? Do you have an important news? that is about to be released or maybe uh, the GDP of US has just been released and uh, GDP is uh, strong for US and uh, you know, uh, Euro dollar is in a downtrend and it has just broke an important support, right? This is the trade context, right? You don't just look at the uh, stochastic indicator or the MACD and say, oh, uh, MACD is uh, short, I'm going short, okay? So this pointer over here is a very huge pointer which I believe I talk about a lot in my videos a lot, okay? It's not one video, I talk about it in at least three or four videos, okay? I always say that you want to look at indicators uh, last, okay? Not the first thing. You want to look at indicators as your last align, right? Meaning your last portion of your analysis. Once you already have your bias, once you already know what you want to do, then you uh, look at your indicators. You don't want to look at your indicators as, as the first thing uh, to decide whether you should buy or sell a currency, okay? So this one, how to do it, uh, I do cover some of this in uh, my other videos. So if you are new to this channel, uh, you sh make sure to check out the other uh, videos, okay? You can see that uh, we do a lot of videos like this uh, that changes your mindset, okay? Because a lot of things that you learn from, uh, you know, like those kind of conventional trading books, uh, like chart patterns or this, uh, they don't teach you all this. Right, their job is to sell you on the next indicator. Their job is to sell you the book. Their job is not to help you uh, become a profitable trader. Okay, in this channel, uh, we are here, right? We're committed to help you, okay? You watching this YouTube channel, we don't, do not earn a single cent, right? We are doing this purely just to help you and uh, we don't want to, you know, hide things from you. We want to tell you the truth as it is, okay? If you are making a mistake, we're going to call you out for it because that's the only way we can help you, okay? We don't want to sugarcoat things. We don't want to lie about it. Okay, so make sure you uh, subscribe to this channel. Okay, make sure uh, you take notes, you, you write this down. Okay, you look at indicators 
uh, last, okay, not first. Okay, you want to form your bias first. Okay, in fact, we have a free day trading guide that teaches you how to form your bias and formulate your trading uh, strategy. Okay, uh, that strategy doesn't even require an indicator. Okay, so make sure you check that out. The link is in the description. Just check that out uh, after this, this video. Okay, now let's talk about uh, mistake number four. Okay, uh, this is a question that, uh, or rather mistake that I see a lot of uh, new subscribers make. Okay, I see, I get a lot of emails about this. Okay, so I see a lot of people asking, how do you manage your trades? You know, should I go with the H1? Should I go with M5? You know, I see that the M5 time frame is against me, you know, but I entered my trade on the H4. So should I still uh, hold the trade? Okay. So first thing to understand is that uh, for every time frame, there is a different trend. Okay. You're never ever going to see every single trend, uh, time frame in the same trend. It just doesn't work like that. Okay, and that's why trading is complicated. It's not simple because uh, each time frame can have its own trend. Okay, so as I said over here, right, uh, you see that lower time frame. Let me just draw it. Right, you see that uh, lower time frame. Okay, this is not good. Yes, you see that lower time frame is forming a trend against you and uh, you panic and you exit the trade, right? Because you micromanage your trade. They don't let uh, the trade hit its target, be it in terms of its take profit or its stop loss, right? Now, the root cause of this problem is that uh, you, re you, you don't actually accept risk, okay? You think about it, right? If you really accept that uh, there's a risk and that you might lose money and you are okay with that, right? Then you won't be worried. Think about it, right? You're only worried because uh, you, kind of, uh, you kind of think that trade, the trade will go in your direction, but it is not going in your direction. So you're worried. You're worried between, oh, will this trade be a winner or will this trade be a loser, right? You are in that zone of, you know, like, I need this trade to win rather than, okay, uh, this trade uh, has a probability that it will work and it has a probability that it won't work, right? So this is the root cause, okay? If you are micromanaging your trade, then you want to do a reflection about uh, this. Do you truly accept uh, the risk, right? Are you comfortable taking the risk? Are you over trading, right? As I talk about over here, are you over trading, okay? So one reason why you are not accepting the risk is also because uh, perhaps you um, you trade too big, right? Your, your trading account is 1K, right? $1,000, but you are risking $300 per trade, right? In that scenario, of course, you're not going to uh, accept the risk because you're trading too big, right? So you want to make sure that you keep your position size small, that you accept the risk, then you take the trade. Okay, now let's move on to the last mistake and then I do a recap of everything and then we'll end off uh, with this uh, trading session. Okay, so mistake number five is that I see a lot of new traders focus on uh, winning rather than the expectancy. Okay, they look at the winning rate, you know, they, they look at uh, other... They look at other signal providers and you know they see that this uh, signal provider has a win rate of 95%, right? It's, it's a pretty common uh, marketing gimmick. You have a lot of uh, you know, people who try to market their signal channel out there, say that uh, you know, my, my signal channel is doing 95%. And then uh, you look at uh, our signals and then you say, oh, this, this, this financial market wizards, you guys are doing 60%. It's not fantastic. You know, you guys are not as good as uh, the 95% people. I'm going with 95% people, okay? So the issue with that is that uh, winning rate is only part of the equation, right? The question is, how much are you winning each time, right? There's no point in winning 95% of the time, but each time you win, you are winning uh, three pips. And when you're wrong, you lose 100 pips. It just doesn't make sense, okay? You're not going to uh, make money. You're not going to grow your account, right? Because you do not have a positive trade expectancy, okay? So the other thing I also want to talk about would be uh, when you focus on this winning rate, uh, sorry, okay, when you focus on winning rate, you are so very tempted to close your positions prematurely, okay? Because the moment you close your trade, what happens is that you secure a win, okay? It's recorded as a win. But if you leave your trade running, there's the potential to lose money. And that's why uh, you will rather close off the trade. And that's very bad because you are, not, uh, you are not riding your winners, right? As you should know in trading, the way to make money is to ride your winners and cut your losers. But if you focus on your winning rate and you close your trade prematurely, then you're doing the opposite, right? You are trying to cut your winners and you're trying to ride your losers, okay? 
So this results in small profits relative to the losses you incur. Okay, and that's not a wise move. Okay, because uh, you need to pay off your losses uh, if you want to uh, be profitable. Okay, so this is what a lot of people do, right? Uh, you set a take profit of 30 pips, right? If you follow our signals, our take profit is usually 20 or 30 pips. Uh, but, you know, as price move, you know, maybe even 7 pips, 10 pips in your direction, uh, you get, you know, um, you get fidgety. You cannot take it because you want to register a win, okay? You want to close it off as a win. You close the trade, okay? And then the trade goes on to hit 60 pips, 90 pips, and you are left missing out. Right, so the question is, did our signals not work, or you know, you just didn't manage it well? Right, I think the answer is pretty clear. You just didn't manage it well. Okay, so um, yep, I explained that over here. Okay, yeah, one more thing. So uh, I think I explained this at the start. Right, a high win rate doesn't mean anything on its own. Uh, you want to consider the trade expectancy. Okay, but before I talk about trade expectancy, uh, I want to talk about this. Okay. One of the reasons why you are very inclined, or rather a lot of new traders are very inclined to have a high win rate, is because it strokes your ego, right? It makes you feel very good about yourself, like, oh, I'm so accurate. You know, I'm so accurate. My, my trading system is working, right? It gives you a false sense of, uh, you know, success, that you know you are successful. But in reality, if you really look at your equity curve, uh, it doesn't reflect that uh, your trading system is working, right? So please uh, do not stroke your ego, okay? Uh, we are here to make money. We are not here to uh, be egoistic. We are not here to uh, show off to people. I mean, if you want to show off to people that you make a lot of money, you can, but make sure you actually make the money first, okay? Don't show off your high hit rate, high win rate, but uh, you have nothing to show for it when it comes to making actual dollars, okay? So as, uh, as I was saying, uh, you want to focus on uh, trading expectancy. This should be the metric that you focus on. Okay, I do have more videos about this concept, about how do you calculate your trade expectancy? What does it mean? Okay, I won't go into it uh, in this video because uh, this video has been rather long already. But you want to focus on this formula instead. Okay, this, uh, okay, this uh, formula here. You don't just want to look at this. In isolation, you want to look at how much money you win when you're right and how much money you lose uh, when you are wrong. Okay, this one you want to be as big as possible, and this one you want to be as small as possible. Okay, if you can uh, increase your average win size and decrease your average loss size, then even if you have a bad, um, you know, bad hit rate, it's fine. Okay, think of it this way if uh, each trade you are making a uh, Average risk to reward of one is to three. That means if you risk a dollar and you make three dollars, right? Even if you have a win rate of a thirty percent, you are still profitable, right? Out of ten trades, correct? Uh, let me just draw it here. Let's say you have seven losers and you have three winners, okay? But because of the winners, each one you make a uh, one is to three. So this one, let's say you risk um one percent per trade, uh, you will make nine percent. Right, because the average uh, risk to reward is uh, 1 is to 3. Uh, your losses will be 1%, each will be 7%. Okay, so net net, you still gain 2%. Okay, so this shows you that uh, you don't need to focus on win rate as much. As long as you can get your average uh, win size to be high and your average loss size to be low. Okay, so that's it. So to summarize everything, right? Uh, these are the five mistakes that a lot of people make. I hope that uh, this video changes your mindset, right? You don't just watch this video, but you reflect on it, okay? You understand it, that uh, internalize, uh, you know, the mistakes that you're making, right? Then you change your mindset, right? Because trading is 80% psychological. I can give you all the technical skills. I can show you the tricks that I learned, you know, but I cannot change your mindset, okay? That's the only thing you can do for yourself. I can do a 50-minute video, I can coach you, I can nag at you, but if you do not change your mindset and alter all this uh, wrong thinking, uh, honestly, no one can help you. Only you can help yourself, okay? So number one is uh, having the wrong expectation. I talk about how uh, you need to have the right expectation when it comes to trading, right? Don't expect to uh, make a million dollars in two weeks, okay? Uh, I talk about over trading, right? And how over trading has to do with having the wrong expectation, right? Don't try to become a full-time trader with a $1,000 account. That's not realistic, right? I talk about how you should be focusing on the price action uh, context, rather than uh, indicators, okay, price action. Okay, I talk about micromanaging trades and how uh, you need to learn to accept risk, right, uh, that 
if you have problem accepting risk, then try trading a smaller position size. And lastly, I talk about focusing on trading expectancy, uh, not a uh, winning rate. Okay, because winning rate is only part of the equation. So make sure you check out other videos if uh, you do not know about some of these concepts that uh, I talk about and I say that I cover in other videos, okay? Uh, don't be lazy, right? Make sure you watch every single video. Binge watch our videos if you need. Uh, if you don't have money to you know, fund an account with, your, uh, with our brokerage and get our Forex course, okay? Uh, make sure you do this because this is free, okay? You just need to be hungry to learn. Uh, and then you can get started, okay? So if you need the free day trading guide, check it out below, it's free. Just spend some time studying it. If you want our free Forex course, uh, links also in the description, just check out the bonuses section, right? It's all there, everything's free for you. All you need to do is you need to take action, okay? So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about any of these uh, mistakes and you, know, you need further elaboration, please comment down below. Uh, our team monitors the comment. We read every comment. Uh, we'll do our best to uh, address uh, any other concerns you have. Okay, so thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video.